I'm David Nielsen, cellist with the Fredericton Symphony Orchestra. First of all, kudos to the Playhouse for honouring people while they're still alive. And Richard Hornsby is very much alive. A hearty congratulations, Richard, from one of those many amateur musicians who has witnessed firsthand your dedication to promoting and sustaining the music arts in our communities. I began playing in an orchestra in the early 1950s under the fine conducting of the late Janice Kelmans. Here I am, 71 years later, playing under the fine conducting of Richard Hornsby. There is so much I could say in praise of Richard, but I'll focus on the music, musicianship and his sustained dedication to the music culture in Fredericton. My wife Carolyn and I have attended countless performances by top Canadian artists during the 31 years that the UNB Summer Music Festival of which Richard is the driving force. Great memories of Shauna Ralston and Martin Beaver and Denise Jochik and this year Marie Bejean, not to mention the wonderful local artists. Richard displays a high proficiency as a solo performer, which many of us have witnessed since his arrival in 1992. He has applied those skills to conducting our orchestra, helping us to understand that there is more to music than just notes. That wonderful tapestry of melody and phrasing, dynamics and expression. Richard has exposed the members of our orchestra and our audiences to so much wonderful music, always challenging us just the right amount. I admire Richard's willingness to continue year after year to work with our amateur orchestra. With its wide range of abilities, experiences, and ages, when Richard steps up to conduct our Fredericton Symphony Orchestra, he displays a reassuring confidence in what we're about to do. He has faith in what we will bring to the performance and we give him our best, and the audience is rewarded. He has no right to appear so calm. Bravo, maestro. Congratulations, Richard, on receiving the Playhouse honors. Um, you know, thinking back on uh, every time I've spoken to friends, colleagues, or folks uh, that we regularly work with, I always like to bring up the fact that we're blessed, uh, that, that I'm blessed to have a leader like yourself to, to work with. Uh, one of the things that I like to tell them is, you know, it's always a good idea to listen to Richard because his career is longer than, well, at least my lifespan. So it's definitely worth listening. And, you know, uh, we also have to credit your patience. Uh, you've been making, teaching, and helping others make art with the known persisting endemic and systemic challenges that uh, artists and, and the folks that work in culture face, yet you unwaveringly deliver your craft and support others on their journeys. A lot of people throw in the towel to, to head to other parts of the workforce, but uh, you know, you, you've, you've stuck through and you've made it through thick and thin. And you know, I think you definitely deserve this award uh, to celebrate this this lifetime of, of work. Uh, speaking of, of, of work and your, your great patience, uh, you always keep your cool. You're always calm and collected. Uh, not that you don't demonstrate passion in everything you do and for those you work with, but you never lose perspective. And it's always a driving force. And you have this remarkable ability. And I think it's tied to that, that, that patience. Uh, this this ability to keep conversations moving along and, and productive, again, part of that 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 ability to always keep perspective in mind. Uh, now I've known you mainly as the chair of the board uh, for uh, CHRC, and it's fascinating how you manage to ensure that discussions flow and that uncanny ability that you have to always bring strays back on the path, get them back on track, without ever being abrupt or short with others. Uh, I also have to add that you're not just a great ally in terms of business and work, you're also a genial fellow to sit down and have a pint with. Uh, there's, and there's so much in that, that lived history and, and experience 
uh, it's fun to learn about and hear and just, just interact with you. And this also reminds me of something that Susan Ennis said about you at her retirement party. She mentioned the fact that even after a decade of correspondence, you always signed your emails off with cheers. So congratulations again, Richard, and from all of us here at CHRC, and for me personally, congratulations and cheers. My connection to Richard's dates to 1996. That was just one year after we arrived to Canada. First year, it was for us just learning language, and we were kind of thinking, should we sacrifice our, our skills and look for any kind of job, or try to find something related to music? Uh, my wife started some string program in community center in Toronto, Cabbage Town, and director of that center was uh, from originally from Fredericton. Her mother, Joyce McKenzie, was music teacher here, and she she had some she had had some lessons at UMB uh, with few students. Anyway, I suppose never figure out the truth or connection, but I suppose Richard learned about that. And as much as I know Richard, he is quick in action and ideas. He connected dots and he figured out it would be worth of making contact with us and see if we are interested to come here and uh, uh, start as a music teacher. Uh, so it was really intriguing idea though. New Brunswick look for something really strange. Where is that? <laughs> Uh, we just came from half a world away and uh, anyway uh, we decided to try and Richard came that summer to Toronto uh, he had music camp so we met we talked he talked candidly about everything and he, he, he really looked uh, like a colleague like friend musician trustworthy and we came here to Fredericton I just have to say we, we never regret that decision uh, but I also want to add, we would never succeed if we didn't have his help and his support. And it was constant since the very first day we came here. He came to our door with blueberry pie and uh, with um, kind of work in Memorial Hall we, where he gave us uh, space and administrative support. And the one thing I can, I want to emphasize that is how much he changed music life of the city. Beginning, beginning was just kind of a couple of students and a couple of lessons and that grew into music camp, much bigger music camp and summer music festival and summer music festival went into town and we had concerts and officer square and cathedral. He had orchestra to the summer music festival that, that became really important event in the city and, and it put city on a map and Fredericton really, uh, even from my point of view, like string program, we become really strong string program in province. And I was always proud of that. And I'm very thankful to Richard for everything he did for us. I kind of jokingly like to think of him as my big brother who always kind of took care of me and my wife. Yes, I'm, I'm actually older, but it doesn't matter. I still like call him like that. So congratulations, Richard. I'm so happy for you. I think there is no more deserving person than you to receive this award. I have been the arts administrator for Musical Ventures, New Brunswick Summer Music Festival and Atlantic Symphonia for a little over two years now. I've been working in the arts industry since I was 18 in various capacities for various companies. And this is the first time in 12 years that I felt supported and pushed forward in my career and um, to make something more of myself and more for the community. And I think on the other side of that, Richard's impact on the community has been, has been massive. Um, I have served on boards which he established, uh, worked at institutions that he created. Um, we have actively gone out of our ways to support the musical community in the last two years that I never would have thought of. So 
he's he's there and he's in the background and he's constantly pushing our music community forward. Congratulations, Richard, on another award <laughs> for your massive achievements uh, throughout the city and the province and lesser known probably to the Fredericton community, but like nationally. Uh, and I can't wait to see what you decide to do next. And I'm sure I'll file all the paperwork for it. Congratulations. I had the pleasure of, of working with Richard on many different endeavors, um, doing a lot of really great arts advocacy. And I think that is what has always um, been so special to me is how Richard came here, took a position, and then just fully embraced the community and became a leader in the arts uh, community here in, in the city, was a huge advocate for getting a community arts center, knowing the importance of that, even though he ran uh, a musical center on campus, also recognized how that work could be even more meaningful in having a community partner. We lobbied hard in the early days to get that arts center. We were fortunate and um, were able to acquire uh, the Charlotte Street School to become the Charlotte Street Arts Centre. He was central to that work, central to the work of Fredericton Arts Alliance. A group of us said, you know, we need to advocate on behalf of the arts. We need to tell politicians how important this is and how critical it is that they be allotting funding um, towards the arts. Richard was at the heart of all those discussions and at the heart of all of that advocacy work. And so I've had the privilege of continuing to work with him in that way. Also, as a musician, I've, I've sung in choirs um, that, um, and, and we've been accompanied um, uh, by the Fredericton Symphony Orchestra and uh, Richard's been at the, at the helm conducting. And so I've worked with Richard in so many different ways and I can't think of a better person to receive this honor. He has made such a significant impact in the arts community here in Fredericton performing arts community, in particular the musical arts community. So I, I'm so thrilled um, that he is being acknowledged in this way. A huge congratulations to you, Richard. I can't think of a better person to receive the Playhouse Honours. I've known Richard for over 30 years, first as a colleague in the Contemporary Music Motion Ensemble, and then as a festival director, conductor, and someone who makes things happen. He's been instrumental in bringing me to the Maritimes and making a space to hold my craft here at Mem Hall at UNB for over 15 years. An activist of the arts, he's always prioritized collaboration and a bringing of artists together to showcase exciting music projects to the province and show the rest of Canada what we can do. Sharing the gift of music with everyone, he's been such an important influence on how music and arts have been evolving in New Brunswick. For this and the many other things you do, thank you. I've had many musical adventures with Richard in New Brunswick, in Canada, and also in Europe. I'm looking forward to many more. Congratulations, Richard, on this important award. So well deserved. Nous sommes très fiers de toi. Congratulations, Richard, on being this year's Playhouse Honours recipient. Over and above all the work you do throughout the province, region, and the country, you've been a vibrant part of the Fredericton arts scene, performing, educating, and advocating for more than 30 years. This is a well-deserved honour. I've known Richard since the early 1990s when a friend of mine convinced me to join the UMB concert band, despite the fact that I attended St. Thomas University. Since then, we've become colleagues and friends. Not to be dramatic, but I'd say Richard was instrumental in keeping classical music events going here in the city during the pandemic. Working tirelessly within city and venue guidelines, both the New Brunswick Summer Music Festival and the Fredericton Symphony Orchestra were able to offer performances during the, the years of lockdown. That first summer, NBSMF had to use the internet to keep going, but with the help of the Playhouse and Richard, the FSO was actually able to perform live in December 2020, albeit with postponement and scare right up to the 11th hour that we might be cancelled. Those first two years of the pandemic were full of stress and anxiety, and there were many times when board members and musicians thought maybe we should cancel. But Richard's optimism and determination directly contributed to the well-being of musicians and community members and helped sustain social connections and cultural enrichment during one of the hardest times in our history. If you have occasion to ponder your legacy, Richard, I hope you remember that. We're all proud of you.